Some have called it divine intervention, while others have called it good planning. Whatever phenomenon it is, the agricultural industry is calling it a very good year. There's been some good rainfall in some parts of the country, and that has been partly attributed to the record maize harvest. The time into slots of the rain that fell at that point in time was on the critical phases of the growth pattern of the maize. So it was critical that it came down, the little bit of rain that was achieved came down at the critical points when it was needed and that's how it pushed it through. But we must also remember the dams of the north didn't get, wasn't filled up with rainwater, it was filled up with a cyclone that came through with massive water that came through that all of a sudden quickly filled the dams. Higher maize prices could rake in a local agricultural industry over $460 million from 2.5 million tons earmarked for exports. It's certainly a bumper year all round. This year, the country has managed to harvest a, a really a very good maize harvest and uh, this is mainly because of favorable production conditions. Official figures estimate that the harvest was around 15 million tons and that's 9.9 uh, .9, uh, million ton is white maize and then 5, uh, 6 million ton is uh, yellow maize. That's means South Africa has been able to export to countries like Kenya, which received over 105,000 tons of white maize, though that could be the last. Over 80% of the current harvest is GMO crops which is perfectly legal in South Africa, but that's not the case elsewhere. East Africa's ban on genetically modified crops means we'll have to find alternative sources of maize. South Africa, on the other hand, has enough demand for what's been allocated for its maize exports. So many believe that market conditions dictate that at least some introspection must be given by the region about its GMO policies. Even uh, the economic conditions in the continent, I think, uh, uh, East Africa would be an ideal market, export market for South Africa's maize. If you take Kenya, Kenya is a leading importer of maize, and then for so long Kenya has been importing maize from uh, Mexico, uh, and I think South Africa can explore this opportunity. So it remains to be seen then if more South African maize will be destined for the East African market. But with countries dealing with armyworm infestations and low crop yields, the situation might change sooner rather than later. Gavis Andrews, CGTN, Cape Town.